Hi everyone, I'm here with your coronavirus update for April 6th. We started this a few days ago, but I wanna make everybody aware in the crown unit, we are now doing uh, goggle reprocessing. So at the end of the shift, if you're finished with your goggles, you take them off and put them into the red biohazard bin in the crown unit nurses station, and they will be taken to SPD to be sterilely processed. It's okay if, if you have your own goggles from home or if you just choose that you wanna keep yours with you to wipe them down with the purple top wipes, that's safe also. But if you'd like for them to go to sterile processing, then we can do that also. I just wanna remind everyone again that the OR scrubs that are being provided for working in the crown unit are uh, there with the intention that you are not gonna be wearing the same clothes you've been wearing all day at work home. So um, we may not wear those scrubs home. So I want everybody to be aware of that. They're noticing that the number of scrubs that are going out are not what's coming back in. So that means some people are taking these home and it's important that we don't do that. Um, we don't have unlimited scrubs. And so if we run out because people are taking them home, that would be pretty disappointing. So please don't do that. I wanna draw everyone's attention also to a safety issue in the Crown Unit. Uh, we all know that we scan medications, we scan the patient's armband and then we scan medications and we do that as a safety mechanism so that we don't give um, patient the wrong patient the medication that we're, we're scanning. And in the Crown Unit though, we have bypassed that safety mechanism because we feel like there's another safety issue and we want the nurses to be able to be outside of the room scanning those medications to spend less time in the patient room. So one way to prevent safety issues um, would be to have the off-going nurse and the oncoming nurse please verify that that armband that you're scanning, so the one that is outside of the patient's room, verify together that that is the right patient in that room. So again, two nurses, the offgoing nurse and the oncoming nurse are going to look at that name band and verify that they have the right patient there. And then just be very mindful, um, those scanning safety measures really do prevent a lot of errors. So please be very mindful when giving meds that you're giving the right med to the right patient. Just a reminder that our process for um, patients in the Crown Unit on Crown Precautions is that we're not going to bag them. So if your patient um, requires bagging, um, um, we're gonna you know, call a code if you need to in that situation, but we are not actually going to be compressing the Ambu bag Instead, um, if your patient is not intubated yet, you are going to be um, placing the Ambu bag on the face and turning it up, but not actually compressing it, and we're doing passive oxygenation that way. So just a reminder of that. Um, and then finally, one last thing I just wanna let everyone know about is PT, OT, and ST are not going to be seeing patients down in the crown unit at this time. So um, just to be mindful that if, you know, that we need to be kind of getting those patients into chair position in the bed, ambulating them, whatever we can do to kind of get them on the road to recovery, um, we're not gonna have the help of those therapies down in that unit. Uh, I think everybody saw, hopefully, if you haven't yet, check your email. There is some information about um, about pay practices for working down in the Crown Unit to be aware of, and I feel very um, happy to see that. And I'm gonna take a close look through it all, read through it all, and ask a few questions, and then have more information for you guys about pay uh, payment for working down in the Crown Unit. That is all, that's all that I have. I hope you guys have a great day.